Hello, happy Saturday. I'm Aaron here in the Bowtie Treasure Studio. I have a project I want to work on. If you'd like to hang around, say hi. Let us know where you're watching from. It's really a gorgeous French provincial piece. But I want to let you know I mixed a custom color and I'm really liking how it's turned out tonight. I want to focus on blending. So I have this um, custom color and just to let you know, I used Dixie Bell's Color Lab to mix it. The nice thing about the Color Lab is you can put a picture in or a sample of something that has some color on it and it'll give you some suggested options. Well, I liked, I tried three or four times uh, with some different images and this one came out closest to what I think I was really envisioning. I was looking for a, a nice pink without being too bright, but um, this one I actually mixed 60-40 is the ratio. And so I still have a, I mixed pretty much 10 ounces of it. And I put this little mixing cup and you can see, there we go. Got about half the container left. I still need to put a second color like on the top and some other key areas. But tonight the focus of my work is going to be the blending. I don't find blending difficult. I know a lot of people may consider it difficult, but hopefully my tips and helps can help you in your journey with blending. As far as brushes go, usually, I usually um, use brushes that are fitting to the space. Two brushes. This is the flat medium, and then this is the flat small. Just something to put the color on. It's critical that you have a misting bottle. You really need to have that. Um, so I'm just kind of going through some of the things that you want to have handy. Pink champagne's ready. So first thing, step one, mist. Give it a good mist. The next thing that I like to do, I'm going to miss my brushes. I like to give them a little bit more of a head start on being wet. And the next thing you want to do is get the color on there. I, I'm usually working pretty quick because you are fighting the clock when it comes to blending. Find the game. That's where that initial mist helps delay that drying time just enough so you can put. But it's nice just to do one drawer at a time. And the drawer wants to keep going in. Okay, so there's the first color. Now we're ready for the second one. And I'm gonna to switch to the smaller one because I don't wanna use a lot of, of this color. So this is pink champagne. I'm just gonna get a little bit of color on there. There we go. And you need to determine, do you want a little bit in the middle or do you want a, the full area? I think we'll do something like a larger square. As you know, French Provincial hardware is really nice. And I tell you what, let's do. Let me go ahead and use the Dixie Bell I don't think I've even used this one yet. I like the fan feel of it. I'm gonna do a quick mist. I like to have a wet rag handy to remove some of the excess. And I just wanna create a glow for the hardware. It's really what we're doing. I'm not going to go too far onto the right and left. Just kinda of create that glow. So I have to replicate this feel all the way around. If you need to come up and clean up any of this if you get too far if you don't want to go further than the middle i think that'll create a really beautiful and see how easy that was I, I mean i went over it maybe four or five times and it's blended so those little touches of uh, techniques should make blending easy for you and i will replicate that again let's work on the lower right cabinet So here we go back in there with the original color and anything that I didn't paint. A touch of mist helps move that paint around. Okay, and so down here, I, I guess I could just, let me give it a quick, Let's put a glow down there, but let's do that in a minute. 
So color to the side. We're going to go in there with the pink champagne. And I think I'll go a little vertical with this just because I want this to be a taller blend. And just go in there with a couple. Now we're going to go back in there with the bell brush. But before I do that, quick mist. Wipe off the extra soft hand. Feather touch would be another way. If you go to my YouTube channel, I have several blending videos there. And I've been trying to stick to a, a, a standard three points outline for blending. Keep it wet. See if I can remember them. Keep it wet. Work quickly. Light touch. And right now I'm barely touching the paint. Okay, I don't want to wipe anything around. Okay. Just looking for anything. Now I'm going back and do any touching of areas that maybe I don't want the highlighted paint that might have gotten a little too wide. And that is the front door in its highlighted mode. So what I was saying a minute ago, let's put some paint down below. Got all these brushes laying around. What I mean, so what I'm talking about is down here. After you've done a few French provincial pieces and you've blended them, you kind of run out of creative ways to blend. So this is kind of a tried and true blending technique for me on French Provincial. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlight right here. Nothing crazy, just another accent point. I did not miss first because it's so small. It really didn't need more water. Okay, let me pull the camera back. And you'll see pretty quick that that highlight is there. And I think that's turning out just nice. So by the time I put the polished hardware on here, it's gonna glow up against. Some other areas that you can blend is the highlights of the feet. That is, that's worked for me before. I may or may not do that. Let's kind of see how it goes. I think it's a very lovely pink very much a fan right now of those colors. Just putting the basic second coat on the dresser. And here's where I'm gonna mist. Just a quick hit with the misting bottle. And I'm gonna see if I can work fast enough to do both sections together okay so just a little bit of paint but you need paint you, you can't blend without paint on there so make sure you don't cheat yourself of not enough paint okay so over there looks like we did we did a decent amount right there so don't uh, you want to echo whatever you did over there Almost looks, I believe I did somewhat of a rectangle there. We'll just get it on there. Up to you if you want to mist before you do this step here. Just depends on how wet your paint is and how large of a section. Okay. Now we're going to our this is our bell brush. Don't see a lot of people using this, but this is a great size for the area I'm doing. Let me do a quick hit with the mist. I am taking a little bit of a risk that I'm not sure how many people want pink French Provincial, but I have a feeling that it's popular enough color that people will like it. So here, right now, I'm just kind of touching up. It's so pretty. I love all the serpentine and I just like how that's all coming together with, as opposed to just the flat. OK, 
Okay, so we're all going in there with pink champagne. We're going with the square. I'm just repeating my steps. So if you're joining late, I'll repeat my three blending steps or tips. Move quickly, keep it wet, and use a light touch. Outside of that, you're pretty much, it's gonna be brush choice and misting are the other variables. You're getting, you're hiding, you're disguising, or the goal is to get rid of any evidence of brush strokes. Then it almost looks like it's been airbrushed. So that's, if you can get that, you have the right pressure, the right technique, the right brush. And sometimes you just don't know until it dries how well you did. And I like to use the idea that if you don't get it right, that's okay. Something squirrely's happened down here and I think the paint's starting to dry. So it's best for me not to keep trying to rework that area because when you start moving paint, it looks weird. You're probably um, overworking it. Because one other area that we can work on is right in here. And I think it would be good to do that. Let me put my brush down. Now, because I've got blending in here, I'm gonna miss my brush because I need some paint in there. Push this in a little bit. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, there's only so many areas that you can, you can do on a French provincial, and I've done about all of them. So you kind of just start, you can, there's nothing new under the sun, if you will. So don't fret trying to be super creative, just knock the piece out of the park. All right, mist, pink champagne. This is what I'm talking about right here. Let's just maybe give it a little bit of a highlight. I don't want to go all the way top and bottom. I want to fade it out. But this will add an extra little highlight that I think is really pretty. Sorry, I think my camera is... catching the door. I wish I could do 14 things at once, like notice what my camera's doing. So you see that little bit of highlight right there? That's just a nice little touch too. I hope this was helpful. If you're watching a replay, let me know. And looking forward to getting this done and sharing it with you. I'm Aaron here in the Bowtie Treasure Studio. Thanks so much for watching. That's the end of the show. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell before you go. Bye.